easy keto meal prep for the week to save time, money, and decision fatigue. Just like a family holiday, a birthday party, or a school trip requires planning in advance. Similarly, going on a diet plan, be it keto or any other plan, you would need to be organized in prepping your meals in a in at least a week in advance. This means having shopped for all the ingredients and have a chart printed and stuck to your fridge of what meals you'll be eating from Monday through to Sunday. Now you can either cook every day if you have the time, or you can cook in batches. Say on Sunday you cook for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday meals, and then on Wednesday cook for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday meals. Decide on the split early on in the week so you know what you're doing and whether you need to be in the kitchen every day cooking the meals. You could also choose one keto breakfast you like and eat it every day, like maybe fried or scrambled eggs with half an avocado. Or if you're not hungry, you could skip breakfast completely, perhaps only having two meals a day, much like intermittent fasting. This not only saves you time and money, it may also raise your ketone levels. Now here's a simple chart of of what types of food you should be eating on keto, so make sure to shop for these ingredients and have them stored in your fridge and pantry. This includes fish, beef, lamb, poultry, eggs, proteins, leafy greens like spinach, uh, arugula, kale, etc., nuts like macadamia, walnuts, sweeteners like stevia and erythritol, non-starchy vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and high-fat dairy like hard cheeses, high-fat cream, and other fats like coconut oil, olive oil, high-fat salad dressing, avocado oil, even avocado mayonnaise, and berries uh, like blackberries and raspberries if you want to consume them every day. Now, most people need to consume between 1,500 to 2,100 total calories per day, depending on the size of the body. Where should these calories be coming from? Here are the rough percentages. 5% of carbohydrates, 5% non-starchy vegetables and salad, 20% proteins, and 70% fat. Now these are rough percentages that can vary from person to person based on your body size and activity level. However, do not bog yourself down with counting calories. Remember that the purpose of food is to supply all your nutrients and not to balance calories. Instead, let me show you in picture form the amounts of foods it will take for you to get these percentages. Protein amounts. Now on average, you'll be consuming three to six ounces of protein at each meal if you are doing three meals per day. Now this is what it looks like for three ounce burger or six ounce burger or three ounces of chicken or six ounces of chicken, three ounces of eggs and six ounces of eggs. 3 ounces of lamb or 6 ounces of lamb, similarly salmon and shrimps, 3 ounces of steak, 6 ounces of steak, 3 ounces of turkey, 6 ounces of turkey. Now if you're doing 3 meals a day, the following is, is an example of how much total protein you could eat in one day, that is between 9 and 18 ounces. Now next is the carbohydrate amounts. You would want to keep your carbohydrate amounts between 20 and 50 grams per day. Many people use 30 grams as a simple guideline. Remember, the lower your carbohydrates, the more rapid your fat burning will be. The carb category includes carbs from foods like berries, nuts, tomatoes, carrots, beets, hummus, avocados, and onions. And we can allow for an additional 5% of our total calories to be found in non-starchy vegetables and leafy green types. Of carbohydrates. When we calculate this, we are using net carbs or the total carbs minus the fiber. To make it easy, try to consume about 10 cups of salad if you eat 3 meals per day, 8 cups if you eat 2 meals per day, and 7 cups if you eat 1 meal per day. Next are the fat amounts. When you calculate 70% of your total calories per day, the fat may initially seem like a lot. However, because fat is more concentrated, a certain volume of fat has more than doubled the calories of the same volume of protein or carbs. And this is what your total daily fat amounts might look like. Now that you have a good idea about the portion size for each macronutrient you need to be consuming in a day, let's look at it 
example of a weekly keto meal plan based on three meals a day. So your three meals for Monday may be scrambled eggs for breakfast, Asian beef salad for lunch, and keto pesto chicken casserole, my personal favorite, for dinner. Tuesday meals may be keto cheese roll-ups for breakfast, keto caprice omelette for lunch, and keto meat pie for dinner. Three meals for Wednesday may be keto frittata with fresh spinach for breakfast, keto no noodle chicken soup for lunch, and keto carbonara for dinner. Thursday meals may look like dairy-free keto latte for breakfast, keto avocado bacon and goat cheese salad for lunch, and keto pizza for dinner. Friday meals may look like mushroom omelette for breakfast, smoked salmon for with spinach and mayo for lunch, and keto tortilla with ground beef and salsa for dinner. Saturday, three meals may be baked bacon omelette for breakfast, keto quesadillas for lunch, and Asian cabbage stir fry with ground beef for dinner. Finally, Sunday meals may look like keto pancakes with berries and whipped cream for breakfast, yum, Italian keto plate for lunch, and pork chops with green beans and garlic butter for dinner. Now, of course, having three different meals every day is quite tough to prepare for if you're already struggling with cooking fresh food every day. In that case, you could simply have the same breakfast every day. Prep two to three different lunches, double portions to last you the whole week, and the same with dinner. Choose and prep for just two to three different uh, dinner meals of double portions to last you the whole week. Have them on alternate day so you don't feel bored by eating the same type of food every day. Now, that was a very brief lowdown on easy keto meal prep for the week to save time, money, and decision fatigue. Now, if you're interested to learn more about keto real life stories and what is the best way to keto for women, please give our channel some gooey keto chocolatey love by liking and subscribing to it. Don't forget to click on the little bell icon to receive regular notifications of when a new video is uploaded. Also, what I'm going to do is give you a free 10 part series on keto for women, the link for which you can find in the description below. Each day you'll receive a new video in your inbox, so don't forget to whitelist our email and check your spam folder for those of you using Gmail. Plus, there'll be some cool bonuses too. See you in the next video.